everyone. It's Chris with B-Minus Demos, and thank you so much for hanging out with me for this somewhat impromptu video. When I do a video, I usually spend most of the week maybe not actively planning it, but at least thinking about what I'm going to do once the weekend comes and I have time to sit down and actually start working on it. In most of my videos, I'm covering a pedal usually, and far more often than not, that pedal is some sort of gain pedal, uh, an overdrive, a fuzz, a boost, a distortion, something like that. I don't really think I've mentioned this before, but my favorite effect is actually reverb. See, to me, reverb is that one effect that no matter what you're playing, even if it's not really good, it at least sounds kind of interesting. To illustrate that point, I am going to use one of my favorite reverbs that I have, the Earthquaker Devices Astral Destiny. You can use it as a simple but rich sounding reverb where maybe you don't have a lot going on, but uh, it just adds a nice little bit of extra something to what you're playing. Or you can move up into stuff that's really wild and spacey and sometimes kind of creepy sounding. Today, we're going to look at my two favorite modes on here. The uh, Abyss, which is the most normal, I guess, reverb. Um, I'm going to use it with uh, a relatively short length, relatively short mix, um, very little modulation in it. With the Abyss, I'm going to be using the left side of this custom-made drive I have from Craft Brutal Effects. This is a modified BD2 on one side, Boss BD2, and an EQD arrows on the other. For the next one, I'm going to go to the Astral, kind of the namesake algorithm for this pedal. I really love this. It can be kind of weird and spacey without being unusable, I guess. The Astral has a shimmer octave and a sub octave as well as a regenerating tail. Again, I'm going to use this custom drive from Craft Brutal Effects. Uh, this time, instead of the BD2 side, I'm going to use the EQD arrows.
this wasn't uh, a demo, I guess you could say. This was just me enjoying playing guitar. Sometimes I get so wrapped up in what I'm trying to do for the video that I don't always take a whole lot of time to just sit down and play for me. And even though I did end up making a video out of it, I just thought it would be kind of cool to be like, hey, here's something that I like for no reason at all. Uh, you know, like I'm not, it's not necessarily a demo. This could have been any reverb pedal in my collection, but it's reverb is this really fun thing that, like I said, I don't know that it necessarily makes you a better guitar player, but it definitely makes you a more interesting one, even if you're not very good. And I feel like, uh, I am a testament to that. Anyhow, listen, thanks for hanging out with me for just a few minutes here. I hope you all have a really amazing rest of your week. Later.